Welcome to Branching Out. I'm Jordan Eggleston, the Professional Learning Coordinator with the King County Regional Office of Education. Anyone looking for a way to reset after a long break? To recreate a sense of safety and belonging? Look no further. This strategy comes from Brene Brown's Daring Classrooms Hub, and it's called Permission Slips. Here's how it works. Start by explaining what a permission slip is within the context of this lesson. You may say, permission slips give us a practical and familiar way to think about what might get in the way of us talking about how we feel, asking for what we need, or trying something new. Next, share examples of permission slips. I give myself permission to ask questions, even if it feels awkward. I give myself permission to collect my thoughts before speaking, and so on. Then let students write out their own permission slips and share with the class. Finally, ask the following questions. When you listen to other students' permissions, were there some that you could relate to? Were there some that you would add to your permission slips? What are some situations where it might be helpful to use permission slips? These might include classroom situations and situations in other areas of life. Now it's your turn to branch out to implement the permission slip strategy in your classroom. Please don't forget to share your experience with us by tagging us on social media. And as always, thanks for watching Branching Out.